I was very pleased to hear that I got a hundred on the Reed score. Uh, being a small business owner myself, I'm certainly uh, attuned to what's going on in the business world in the state of Oklahoma and as a legislator, I will continue to do everything I can to help business, especially small business in the great state of Oklahoma. It's not a surprise at all. Um, Senator Coleman's um, not only somebody I go to over Phillips 66 issues, but on business issues, uh, whatever it may be statewide. Known as a voice of reason, um, always willing to listen, always in, willing to engage in a dialogue, which is all we can ask in a legislator. And uh, as the head of business and commerce, he's done a great job and we look forward to a continued relationship and, and uh, working with, with Senator Coleman. Bill is so involved in the community, has a long history of involvement. And the other thing is he makes himself really available, not just to citizens, but to the chamber meetings. He's still in, very involved. He comes to a lot of meetings and he's always available to answer the phone. So he's very accessible to the people um, in the community and in the chamber. Well, a big part of our job is not passing laws. It's stopping bad laws from getting passed. I'd say we do that about 75% of the time. And P66 is a great community partner. They recently gave a million dollars to the Pox City Schools to help build a STEM lab. And they've always been a great community partner since I've lived here for nearly 40 years.